It is the beginning of the second week of 2020, and many of us are deep into our New Year's resolutions, transforming our old habits and forming new ones. However, statistically, there are many others who have already given up on their resolutions and are continuing in their old habits. And then there are some things we simply cannot change, no matter how much resolve and de determination that we have. So today in Full Circle, we're going to talk about the things and accepting the things that you cannot change. Mm. Mm -hmm. Accept it. Just accept it deep down in your spirit. So that means just giving up? It's not really giving up. It's embracing. You got to look at it in an optimistic way. Yes. You cannot look at it pessimistically. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to accept the fact that I cannot change and I'm a strong woman. And it doesn't make you a failure. Did you it's see just, what she just said? I cannot yes. change said, the fact that I'm a strong one. Well, can you delve a little bit more, please? No, like, like <laughs> all day, all day, I, all morning. What is happening here? I'm serious. <laughs> I can't change that. Right. I'm really not that little docile, confused, I don't know what to do type of person. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not. Right. It might mess me up in a couple of my relationships, but you know. Right. Sometimes being a strong woman is tough. It really is. Right. It's hard out here in these streets. I'm telling you. Yeah. Because you, you kind of got to play the game with guys. <laughs> yes. And I really don't play games. I, I can't oh. live my life this way. I want to go. <laughs> what? what? Okay. Uh, okay. What? I have what? one, though, y'all. Okay. I have resigned it in my heart, my body, my mind, and my thought process, and in my spirit that I just can't wear my natural hair. I just can't do it. Oh, yes, I have given it up. I have given it up because I said, I told myself, I said, this year, I'm going to embrace and wear my natural hair. You guys have heard me talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, backstage, I'm like, okay, I'm going to rock my hair. I'm going to rock my hair. I, I just can't. Why? You know, why not? Okay, so first of all, I let my, my husband help me take out my my yeah. little sewing that I had uh, during the during during honey, honey, no, when right. he cut something. He cut, he cut your hair. He cut sections. Oh. I, no. I, first of all, oh. it's my fault because I shouldn't have had him doing it in the first so place. Long. It was growing yeah. so nicely. I mean, now I look like. Vaughn. You look it's like not his fault. It is not his fault. <laughs> you look like Trick Daddy on that mug show this weekend. It's just <laughs> please, it's in so cool. I have to. I just have to give up hope. I don't no, think you should give I up hope. I hope alive. I don't think you should give up hope. I think because your hair is natural, it's it will so grow back beautiful. quickly. You wear protective styles, and you just have to find the courage, Trina, to oh wear gosh, your hair gosh. natural when it when grows it, out when even. It, when it grows out even, it, it's beautiful. You have absolutely gorgeous hair, Thank beautiful you. hair, and you will be able to do it. Just maybe not this month. But this, well, year, this year, no, this year, this year she will. I sure. decree and declare that you will wear your natural hair. I'm just saying, decree see, and declare. I need to be able to get it decree. done every two weeks, and you'd be able to have it shampooed and send it to the dryer. Yeah. And blah blah blah. I can't, I can't do that. So, so not having to wear this protective style. Yeah, get but your it, good wig. He didn't cut that much where you can't like get it all even at one time, right? <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know how. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you have to cut off the threads and stuff, I guess he couldn't see the thread. Because it's black. And it was, and it was black, you know. Oh, we cut and out. he thought it was like net, and, and it wasn't. It was my hair, because when I heard it, you know, your hair sounds <gasps> yes. different when you snip it. So I said, snip. My I God, said, today. Oh, Lord. I said, babe, that's my hair. <laughs> no, it sounds like, yes, uh huh. Because <laughs> I heard it. I heard it happen. And the first time was right here, and it was a big <laughs> circle, because it was like red, where the braid was. No. Snip. I was like a circle. Oh, oh. come on! Show that a yeah, circle. Has on, on this Show side here, a little bit on this side right here, in the in the patch in the middle where the one is. I was like, goodness gracious, alive! It's Ooh, just, that's a fool, that's girl. A great well, story. I, that's I, a fool. That's I, a fool. I, I, can't, right I just can't work. So I resigned that I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. You're not gonna let it go. You're just gonna All postpone right. it for a year. Lena, well, what you got? What you, what what are you learning to accept for the 2020? <sighs> well, things you cannot change. Man, this is a tough one because I'm the type of person that consistently pushes forward no matter what. Mm -hmm. So um, I have not set any re resolutions this year because I don't want to do that anymore. Like, you know, you always have a weight loss resolution or, you know, a financial right, resolution. Right. I Instead of setting resolutions, I just put things into play mm -hmm. and give myself time 
to do it and just be patient. I think that when we set resolutions, it makes us put a time limit on it, it you know? Does. And so then if you don't make the time limit, you feel you like feel a defeated. failure. Yeah. So I just feel like it's don't give up on your resolutions. Mm -hmm. Just change the time limit, you know? Just be patient with yourself and allow yourself to accomplish your goals when it's in the right timing. Yeah. Sometimes it's all about timing. So do you I gave anything, up resolutions. In, but anything that you accept that you cannot change, anything, across the board, whether it's music. Well, I'm not, I don't want to bring anybody down, but um, I have, ex cry. no. Okay. I have yeah. accepted the fact that my son is special, mm -hmm. that my son is different from other children, but what I won't accept is that he's incapable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I have accepted that he is different. Um, and I have to say, as a mom, I didn't want to accept that he's different, but different in a good way. He's yeah. special, you yeah. know, so yeah. that's something that I've learned to accept over the years, not necessarily in 2020, but just kind of still working on accepting yeah. that. I've also accepted that my mother is going to get on my nerve <laughs> from time to time on the phone. <laughs> But, Don't do brother like but that. I love her down to the floor yeah. and I will talk to her, and let, her and let her wear me thin. I yeah. will talk to her and let me let her wear me thin, and I'm not going to come back with her anymore because I have accepted that that is my mother. But those are the things about her that make her beautiful, right? Yeah. Um, and make her my mama. That's beautiful. Johnny, so I don't have nothing. I don't have anything. You don't have any, nope. And anything? we run out of time. It's oh, perfect. But I do want to say thank you to Bond <laughs> for trying. That means she don't want to talk about it. That means she really does. She just doesn't trying. want to talk about it. And we really my know, God today. We're getting ready for our next segment. We'd love to hear how you feel. So what's your thoughts? It's just a circle TV on all social media platforms.